Hey everybody, it's Lorenzo from GamesRadar.com, and I'm here with Alex Ward from Criterion Games, and uh, we're showing off the Need for Speed Most Wanted Wii U, Wii U version. How you doing? I'm good, thank you for having us. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to come and uh, show you uh, Most Wanted on Wii U. Uh, we finished work on Most Wanted in um, September of 2012, and we released that game for PlayStation, Xbox 360, PC, and Vita. And then we all took some time off, and then we came back to work, uh, a small group, a Wii U team. And uh, although we've been working on Wii U and got the game up and, running, up and running in various stages of development, taking a break from the game we shipped, we, we came back and uh, you know, got to work with getting everything uh, running on the system. And uh, the reason we've come to show you here today is because, again, when a game has already been released and it comes to different hardware platform, Many people are maybe often not that excited about it, um, or they think it's just a straight port, or they think it doesn't support, um, it doesn't feel unique to their hardware system. And with Wii U, it was a system where it did, we didn't feel until we got the hardware ourselves at home, then we, it began to click with us as developers. We understood how we were gonna use GamePad, and we knew that releasing a vanilla version of the game would just not be enough. It wouldn't do the, do the machine justice. So, first thing you'll see on screen, there's a notable uh, increase in visual quality on the Wii U version. The system has uh, more memory, so we're able to use the uh, PC uh, textures and assets, so the game has a much more high quality look. The road is, is more detailed, um, the lighting is improved, the draw distance is tweaked. So on Wii U, it's by far the best looking version of the game. But that still doesn't get to the heart of what Wii U is all about. And Wii U, to us as developers, you know, we've studied what Nintendo have done and we've read what Mr. Water and the teams have talked about on Iwata asks. Wii U is about the shared experience. And Wii U has given us an opportunity to solve a problem that we've thought about at Criterion for many years. And that's always how to involve other people other than the main player playing our games in the living room. But it's the burnout games or Need for Speed games we've always thought, how can we get more people to engage? and have a shared experience. So, we came up with the concept of creating a, a, a new mode, which is a very simple idea. It's a co-driver mode. So, with one person playing on the Wiimote, and they could be playing, we support all the different ways to play. You can be playing on Pro Controller, you can be playing with motion controls on GamePad or Wiimote. We support driving also with the nunchuck. We support uh, using the steering wheel. Uh, simple, you know, when you learn to drive, driver's ed teacher, he had dual controls in the car. So that's one of the first things the gamepad gives us. When you're watching people uh, playing this game, it can be, for many players, it can be a very daunting experience. It's a very fast 3D driving game. You have to make a lot of fast decisions. You have to be able to navigate uh, in 3D space using as a map. You have to understand all the game systems and how they work. And if you follow Criterion over the years, you'll kind of understand what this game's about. You'll be able to get to grips with the experience very quickly. But if you're very new to the game, if you're very, if this is the first 3D driving game you've ever played, maybe you're going to find it quite, uh, it quite tough to play. And certainly as we've gone around the world and shown our games, we're always amazed at seeing people struggle with things that we, th we think are very simple that come to us as second nature. And that's because we spend up to two years working on these games, we become very skilled at it. We play it every day, we live it and breathe it. If, if we see someone struggling, we obviously think it's easy to think, well they're a bad gamer, right? They haven't got the skills. But really, Driving in a fast 3D world requires a lot of info. So with dual control, we actually called this mode internally father and son mode. And the vision for this we had is that as a, as a father uh, playing the game, using the gamepad, he's like God, he's almost like the Godfather, and his son is playing with the Wiimote however he wants to play. So again, using Wiimote, the full game is playable on the, uh, on, on the gamepad as well if somebody else is, is using the display for something else, or watching a movie or watching TV. Um, but we're thinking as a father, what are all the things he can do to assist and share the experience of the person playing? So again, driving here, dual controls are on, Jim's able to uh, boost, you know? Normally you have to, in a previous game, you have to earn boost, but again, we call this boost shoe, so he can always help the player drive a little faster. He can help the player with drifting. He can help the player if they're getting stuck on geometry. Yeah, he can tee up all the races, you know? And also, um, players that are new to the game, they often trigger a police chase far more rapidly than we probably originally intended. The cops can come into this experience and make, if you're struggling to drive around, can make that experience just even harder. And if it's the first time you're playing a game, you might never come back 
to playing a 3D driving game. You might just think it's not for you. So again, Jim's playing here. If the police are on, if the police are on his tail and giving him a problem, they can be battering him and, and it can be very, again, very overwhelming is a good word to use. Jim, he can, he can tap, look, look at the map, he can see where the cops are. He can tap the screen, right? He can tap to slow them down. He can tap to spin them out, or he can remove them completely. Jim's in control of all the cars in the game, whether the player and single player has found them or not. He's got all the cars, so again, if you don't want to be driving a Lamborghini, he can switch it out. He can switch out any of the cars in the game, you know, at any time. He can also repair the car for the player. He can, he, he can spray the car a different color for the player. He can change day to night. If players are driving at night, we love driving at night, but again, some players find night has made an already tough game, probably even more difficult for them if their TV is not set in an optimal way. Nighttime is tweaked, especially here on Wii U, and it's probably the best looking version of nighttime we've ever done. But again, it can be very, very challenging, so you can turn day to night at the touch of a button. But again, these are so-called professional gamers, paid to play games for a living. And still, they're getting taken down with the cops in the first race in the game, the easiest race in the game, but they can still have a problem. So when they jump out of this race, you'll see that Jim is able to serve up any car. He's able to queue up then instantly all the races. He's able to look at the map and see all the collectibles on the map. He can see which ones the player has found and which one the players haven't found. So again, you're having a shared experience in helping another player find a car, helping another player find that billboard they're missing, find, helping the player find the security gates so they can get through the game. We just came out to do the best job we could. Uh, we came out to use the gamepad everywhere we can, support Miiverse fully. Autolog and Miiverse are a great fit. When you go into Picture Paradise mode, all the Miiverse comments and things from your friends, every time you uh, win a race, complete, the, complete a, an event, you can post to Miiverse. And we believe that supporting Miiverse again is really important. If you look at the billboards in the game, they now have all you, your, you and your friends' Mii's on them. Uh, rather than the photos, it's a simpler and, 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 and a, a fun way of getting people to connect and share the experience. It's still a very big game, you know? There's a lot to do, there's a lot to drive. Also, we watch people driving, they hit the walls and wreck a lot. So being able to instantly repair the car is really, really cool. But also, if you're just driving around, you're hitting traffic a lot. Again, you switch the car instantly, we've got a big truck. You can dial the traffic down. We can turn the traffic off and let players drive around the world and get used to the controls discover things in the world. There's a, lot of, um, there's a lot of cool jumps and shortcuts. Fairhaven is a great fictional destination to drive around. It's a world built for need for speed. It's a world built bespoke for sliding and drifting and jumping and finding shortcuts. And again, this is how you can experience it, driving around at your pace, at your style. And I think that's one of the things that's really important about Wii U. It's about bringing people together and sharing that game experience. As we've understood the hardware, as we've taken Wii U home, as we've understood it more, we've gone out to create a very uh, simple experience. And that's why we came to show it to you, because if we didn't come, you'd just think, we've just ported our game to Wii U and it's not important to us. And putting the game out and without improving it would have been a crime to us. So that's what we've come out to do. We've come out to uh, make the best uh, Wii U game we can. All right, it looks awesome. Uh, when can we expect to play uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted U? Most Wanted U is coming out at the end of March. We're almost done, we're just about to uh, submit. We're just in the final stretch now. A few last minute fixes and tweaks. Great, it looks great. Thanks for coming by. No problem, thanks very much for letting the show. Really appreciate it. And for more on Need for Speed Most Wanted U, be sure to check out gamesradar.com. Thank you.